And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, big changes are coming to Greater Lafayette, and they're already beginning to move in. Isolated rain showers moving in ahead of a weak cold front that's slowly making its way southeastward. We saw some pretty heavy rainfall across parts of southern Newton County, western Benton County within the last couple of hours. There now, just a few light showers, mainly across Benton County, a couple isolated showers even moving in to western Pulaski County. But we're also tracking some pop-up showers as well, even some heavy rainfall just east of Clarks Hill and southeastern Tippecanoe County. Moving into uh, Clinton County at this time, off towards Manson as well. This is all moving east, only about 15 miles per hour, so a pretty slow moving system. And as it rolls further off to the east, we are seeing more of that rainfall dissipate and really lose a lot of its steam over the last couple of hours. There's your precision tracker radar the last couple of hours. First, some scattered cloud cover, then the heavy cloud cover and the rain chances. And it is all thanks to an inbound cold front spanning parts of Michigan, Illinois, down through Missouri in Iowa as well. That system will continue to roll eastward over the next 24 to 36 hours, ushering in cooler conditions and yes, additional rainfall chances as well. 77 right now in Delphi, 78 Peru, 81 in Atlanta, but the further west you go, more of that moisture, more of that cloud cover, dipping temperatures off into the upper 60s already. 68 degrees in Morocco at this hour. Here in Lafayette, seeing a temperature of 75 degrees. We're already down from 82 where we were earlier on today. Winds Picking up speed as well ahead of those showers, seeing winds gusting as high as 25 miles per hour sustained winds at 21 right now in Lafayette. The low pressure system that is actually driving this rainfall along with the cold front will continue to track directly over the region throughout the evening ahead. Notice a few more of the light rainfall or rain showers on the back edge of the system moving in along with that low. So don't be surprised to see more rain chances for your Friday as well. Here's snapshot forecast, a beautiful image taken this morning by Tanya Agnew. You can see the sun rising there with the dense fog we had this morning. Beautiful uh, picture. Not that great of a forecast. At least the rain chances stick around throughout the evening hours. 77 degrees, maybe a couple light showers holding on through 10 p.m. or so. 69 degrees at that point. 66 by midnight. We'll bottom out tonight here in Lafayette at 60 degrees. 62 your overnight low temperature in Crawfordsville. That low continues to track further off to the east and the back edge. Once again, you'll notice an insurgence of more of that rainfall moving in from the southwest. Current forecast models are indicating anywhere between two tenths to maybe even as much as a half an inch of rainfall. I'd like to think that that half an inch is a little bit on the high end, so I'm going anywhere between two tenths and maybe four tenths of additional rainfall through Friday afternoon. By Friday evening, we should dry out, but gusty northerly winds moving in across parts of Lake Michigan could drag some cloud cover in over the region for Saturday. Few of those forecast miles have rain showers moving in for Saturday. For now, I'm keeping Saturday dry, just a bit more cloudy than we'd like to see it. 71, your high temperature for Friday. We fall off to 65 on Saturday, Sunday. 68, your high temperature that afternoon. We'll hit 76 on Monday, bouncing back up to 79 Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday next week, that'll be our next real chance of rainfall. Obviously, following the cold front that we're tracking now, that will move through the viewing area Wednesday into Thursday morning, eventually cooling things off by Thursday evening. But still, we are expecting to bounce back up into the 80s. So we're not saying goodbye to the heat quite yet, but this weekend, Looking much cooler at a high temperature of 65 yeah. on Saturday. Yeah, you're looking forward to German Fest, right? I am really <laughs> looking forward Hair to German Fest. Hopman yes, might be yeah. good sweatshirt weather. <laughs> yeah, I think so, and uh, I'm going to have to come up. I'm not going to end the, uh, what's it, Lederhosen. Probably won't, <laughs> probably won't break those out this year. But, Let's uh, leave it at home. Huh? Yeah, I think okay, so. Thanks, guys.